morning. Um, this is Muriel Kramer, the chair of the Hopkinton Select Board. I am here for actions taken from our meeting on Tuesday, October 17th. Um, we did have an executive session with respect to negotiations with the fire union and also for conversations relevant to the pur purchase, lease, sale, or value of real, real estate in relation to properties in the vicinity of Town Hall and South Street and parcels owned by Umina off of Chestnut Street. <clears throat> we opened uh, promptly at 6.30 with the Pledge of Allegiance. Um, there were no comments at public forum. The consent agenda included um, several gifts to the fire department in, in the memory of George Thorson Jr. from Tom's Auto Body, from Diane and Joe Regan, from Michael Daly, and from Judith Pryor. Many thanks to everybody who thought of the town in this way. We made two appointments to the Sustainable Green Committee for Carol Essler and Pervy Tiku. We also reappointed Mike Whelan to the Veterans Celebration Committee, and we appointed Will Schofield to the Youth Commission. We also um, interviewed and appointed Brian Zanidi as a new police officer in the town of Hopkinton. He comes uh, with a, a really um, wonderful record. He served in the United States Army and has experience in hospital and educational settings um, and is coming to Hopkinton from an educational setting, I believe. We had a brief update from the department. The departmental review is um, there are a couple of vendors being considered. We also have an update forthcoming with the school committee at their meeting on October 26th. So we will look forward to that. We considered the police chief's goals and they were um, very centered on uh, developing community engagement as well as developing um, the structure and, um, and uh, recruitment and retention for the department. We discussed the upcoming special town meeting that is scheduled for November 13th at 7 p.m. at the middle school auditorium there are now five articles on the special town meeting. Um, one, of course, is the element the Elmwood School Replacement Project. One is an article from the Sustainable Green Committee to further their work towards the net zero initiative. And one is a citizen's petition to eliminate partisan politics in uh, town government in Hopkinton. The select board voted to add two articles for the potential purchase of uh, land, uh, but in the one in the vicinity of South Street or parcel or parcels in the vicinity of South Street and parcels parcel or parcels in the vicinity of Town Hall for the, um, for the purposes of parking. So there's another additional two articles. The warrant did close on the 18th. So um, at the time of our meeting on Tuesday, the 17th, there were five articles. The town clerk was also present to give us an update. There is, um, there is the, the very real possibility that they will, the town will provide um, electronic voting at this special town meeting. So Connor presented an update on the cost and the methodology that it will essentially be a system that the town rents um, for this purpose. Um, each attendee will be given a clicker um, and will be able to vote from their seat. There are two, two big thoughts that this will um, increase efficiencies for uh, and eliminate the need for counting at the special town meeting. It also somewhat changes the dynamics of town meeting as we have um, come to appreciate it in that um, there will be no um, standing vote. So it will be essentially um, a secret or private ballot. So for those folks who are interested in more information, please do reach out to the town moderator or the town clerk. Additionally, we asked the town, uh, the town clerk to come back at our next, next meeting, which is November 7th. Um, to give us an update and as well as potentially have um, a demonstration to share that night. So that will be a little bit different 
for this year's uh, special town meeting potentially. We uh, postponed the discussion on strategic planning, but we did set a date for the all um, hands meeting, which will be November, Wednesday, November 29th at 6 p.m. So an all hands, all departments meeting will be held November 29th at 6 p.m. We heard from the town manager on the Main Street Quarter project. That project is, um, <clears throat> is wrapping up. Several citizens have um, gone out and, and walked the project and provided feedback on uh, items for a quote unquote punch list, which is very appreciated. So if there are additional things that we should keep in mind as we look to um, complete the project um, with the exception of the actual um, uh, final undergrounding of the, the uh, Eversource items. And we do not have a schedule on, on that as yet, but we are hopeful that we can get that schedule and finish promptly. Um, in the new year, but construction, the the paving will be done <clears throat> and uh, the, the project itself will be nearly complete except for final touches from Eversource. Um, we also heard an update. The conversations are have been uh, re-initiated uh, with our new DPW director with Southboro uh, regarding the MWR. RA connection, which will be our long-term solution. And we um, are still on track for January 2025 or December 2024 to January 2025, I believe, for the shorter term solution, um, the filtration project. Uh, and lastly, we had some liaison reports and board invites, um, lots of good things happening in the community. Um, so I hope that you will uh, watch for the for the for the announcements um, and find out what is how what you know you can uh, join in and celebrate with. Thank you so much for um, tuning in for actions taken. We appreciate your attention to the work of town government, and we'll see you next time.